Michael Pollan, we're not only not making our meals, we're often distracted while we're eating them. What is secondary eating and how does that factor into the equation here? Yeah, I wasn't familiar with that term, secondary eating, but now it's a category that the Department of Agriculture uses to analyze how we're eating. It turns out secondary eating is eating while doing other things, eating while walking down the street, eating while driving, where 20% of the food that uh, people under 55 eat is eaten in the car today. Um, it's it's you know eating while you're while you're watching television or or, or at work, and uh, it now takes up 78 minutes of the day. That is more the time than we spend in primary eating. Now, what's primary eating? Well, that's what we used to call meals. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently now we call it primary eating. And that's only 67 minutes a day. So uh, we're spending more time grazing, snacking. That's what this really means. And the problem is, what are the kind of foods that you can eat while doing all these other things? They tend to be not cooked food. They tend to be snacks. They tend to be this industrially prepared, highly caloric, junk food. Um, but that is really taking over and it's swamping meal time. And, you know, meals, I, I feel funny saying this, but meals are really an important institution. Um, I really believe that the family meal is the nursery of democracy. Um, this is where our children learn to share and take turns and argue without offending one another. This is where they get they, they learn about the art of conversation from adults and and learn about the world. I, I, I remember my dad lecturing us about the Vietnam War and you know at the table and, and that's how I got my news was at the table. And uh, to, to, to lose that, to move to a time where you know kids are just kind of uh, many family meals today, which are microwave, say, or reheated, you know, people don't coincide at the table because the nature of the microwave oven is when your food is hot, the next person's food is not yet hot uh, or has already gotten cold. So, so you have people kind of crossing in the night at the table, and maybe mom sits there for the whole time, but uh, nobody else does. And those kind of meals, I think, are really not conducive to uh, family happiness, to the education of our children. And we used to have a stigma on snacking. When I grew up, it was called, uh, you know, the between meal snack. Mm -hmm. And there was, a, there was this kind of, no, it was something you minimized. Um, you, you never hear that. There's no stigma on snacking anymore. And, and in fact, if you look at ads for television, it's all encouraging us to eat outside of the meal.